Dear students, under the topic non-linear partial differential equations, we are solving problem under type 4. Here we have problem 7. The question is z equal to px plus qy plus log p. When we observe the question, we understand that it is of the form z equal to px plus qy plus f of p comma q. So it is of the Clairette's form. For such equation, we have to first find the complete integral. Let us mark the given equation as equation 1. In order to find the complete integral, we have to put p is equal to a and q is equal to b in equation 1. So when we put p as a and q as b in equation 1, we get the equation 1 to b. So z will become ax plus by plus log ab. So this is marked as equation 2 and this gives the complete integral. The next step is we have to find the singular integral. Now in order to find the singular integral, we have to eliminate the arbitrary constants a and b from equation 2. For which first we have to partially differentiate z with respect to a and that will be equal to. So when z is partially differentiated with respect to a, this on differentiation, the differentiation of a is 1 so we will have x. This will become 0 plus the differentiation of log ab is 1 by ab multiplied with a. Now we are differentiating with respect to a. So b will be treated as constant and this constant we have to multiply. In a similar manner, we have to differentiate z with respect to b and that will be equal to. So this will become 0 and this on differentiation will be y plus the differentiation of log ab is 1 by ab multiplied with now with when we do with respect to b a will be treated as constant so we have to multiply with a now next we have to put dou is z by dou a to be equal to 0 so here we see b and b gets cancelled so x plus 1 by a will be equal to 0 from which we get the value of x to be equal to minus 1 by a and from this we get the value of a what will be a? a will be equal to minus 1 by x. So we have obtained the value of a. In a similar manner, we have to put dou z by dou b to be equal to 0. From for, And here a and a will get cancelled. And what is dou z by dou b now? y plus 1 by b is equal to 0. Now from this, y will be equal to minus 1 by b. And from this value of y, we get the value of b which is equal to minus 1 by y. So the value of a is minus 1 by x and the value of b is minus 1 by y. Now we have to substitute the value of a and the value of b in equation 2. So z will be equal to, so z will be equal to, first we have a x so a has to be multiplied with x now what is a minus 1 by x multiplied with x plus b y we have so if you see here we have b y so what is b b is minus 1 by y multiplied with y plus log a b so you will be having plus log what is a a is minus 1 by x multiplied with minus 1 by y so this is log a b. On simplifying further, z will be equal to, now this x and x gets cancelled and it will be minus 1. And this y and y gets cancelled and it will be minus 1 plus log of uh, minus into minus will become plus 1 by x multiplied with 1 by y will be 1 by x y. So that will be equal to minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 plus log of this xy when taken to the numerator, it will be xy to the power minus 1. And this minus 1 can be brought to the front and it can be written as minus 2 minus log of xy by the rule of logarithm. So therefore, we obtain the value of z to be equal to. So z is equal to minus 2 minus log xy. So this is the required singular integral. So I hope you, you would have understood this problem. Kindly follow the next video lecture for problem 8. Thank you.